I was explaining why <laughs> those that wear tank tops would want this new type of bra that releases their breasts and has a handle on the back of it. Or <laughs> those that wear half shirts, midriff shirts, yes, t-shirts, fooch. <laughs> now, if you have a tube top on, you might not need it, okay? <laughs> but I'm looking for some volunteers that really think that Christianity needs to go a different way and... <laughs> Sometimes they get stimulated in five minutes there, any location really. They oftentimes shop with girlfriends and <laughs> nothing like just uh, being in a dressing room or some other public place where they just have to come to find out. <laughs> now, there's a, a sexual position that I didn't talk to you about called the missionary position. Yes. <laughs> There's a certain somebody that seems to be missing, and I thought it was her favorite position. <laughs> now, usually when I want to make love to a woman, it's important for me that they smell their own, well, vaginal juices. Yes. And I like them to sit on my nose while they themselves have control of their breast pooch. <laughs> but then there's that second position known as the second orgasm where oh those are my breasts thank you so much and then from the second to the third orgasm where i'm oh they're naked it's called a missionary position if you take the back of the knees and you pull them as far back as possible then you spread the legs yes it's the stomach muscles that allow for the deepest penetration a lot of women they have a difficult time locating their g-spot and as a man there's no place for any other woman. It's really the love-making position. Yes. Or it might take me 20 minutes to half an hour to find that G-spot. Yes. I would say it's the two and a half orgasm before the third orgasm known as the cervix orgasm where you hold. Now, let's say you're one of these Christian types where you think it's very important that love is very involved in the relationship. And after you, you sat on me, I, I decide I'm a missionary poacher. And I just spend 20 to 30 minutes massaging that vaginal muscle, looking for that G-spot, seeing if I can find it or not. <laughs> now, a lot of women, they know that sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not. <laughs> the whole thought is if you really work for the 20 to 30 minutes, see, <laughs> the first orgasm is really foreplay. Pooch, nothing like looking up and thinking, oh my gosh, my face smells like your vagina. Pooch. And then there's the second where, oh, those are beautiful. I just love having them for myself and then there's that in between the second and third where I do my work as a man it's a slow going first inch and a half of the vaginal opening yes and I'm trying to find that G spot sometimes I'll arch my back or I'll use a different rhythm trying to look for it is it in there is it in there <laughs> I might not find it, I might find it, but <laughs> before I'm behind a woman, I would like to make love to them, and I can't always do it when making love to, oh, what could be four to six women every time, <laughs> yes, but when I'm alone with a woman, and I really love that woman, <laughs> when I go looking for that G-spot, and if I find it, oh my gosh, look at, there it is, <laughs> looking for some volunteer. <laughs>